everyone and welcome to my dolly paint video and today this is such a special beginning of my video because I have a very special guest sitting next to me and this is such a 70 centimeter big Barbie doll and this doll appears to be so big that I just couldn't show her like I always do on my working table in my studio so that's why we're sitting here in my chair talking to you saying hello say hello she doesn't want <laughs> she's probably a little bit worried how she gonna look after the makeover because today her face is going to change completely so what we're going to do today of course I'm going to repaint her face completely and by the way it's so funny she has like real lashes and they're not glued lashes I guess or, or are they because they look kind of rerouted I don't know, we'll see it better in the close-up uh, Her body I'm not going to blush because she's way too big I will waste all my monster, uh, monster super clear, Mr. Super Clear sealant on her uh, That's why I'm not going to touch her body and that's why her face contour I will try to keep kind of soft to match the body without blushing the body uh, her hair I will try to keep for now because yeah, it's original Barbie doll and she has enough hair not like these uh, fake heads that have lots of bald spots on them they're staying there so I'm pointing them uh, so I'll try to keep her hair for now but I don't know if I will be able to keep them in the end because sometimes this realistic new face style doesn't fit uh, such a little bit maybe yeah, plastic, dollish, uh, too blonde Barbie hair. So I will keep the hair for now and in the end when the face is ready we will see how it all works together. And for her clothes I have also some special plans. Uh, she's 70 cm big so it's, a process, it's obviously baby size. And I'm going to go to one of our local stores and buy some real child's girl's clothes dress or skirt or top or whatever for her and let's see where we will we will end up so and now let's take my acetone scissors we don't need for now yeah and let's start working so first i'm going to take her clothes off and to protect her hair Nice underwear this time, by the way, not like the old-fashioned weird pants of the 17-inch Barbie, do you remember? Oh, I was going to take her shoes off, but it seems they're not real, they're just painted. Oh my god, it's so weird. Yeah, look, I was right, her lashes are really rerouted and they're kind of growing out of her eyelids. So I will have to get rid of them because they're too dollish and too thick and too messy kind of also. So I first cut them very short off and then with the tweezers I put the rest of the hair out. And then I remove her old face with pure acetone. Then I spray her face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and when all the layers are dry I take a watercolor pencil and I sketch her eyes. There are still holes on her eyelids from the old lashes, so I'm drawing the new eyes just a little bit under the old lash line, because I'm going to attach the new fuzz lashes on this place.
than the nostrils, of course. They must look like two dark holes. And then I take soft pastels and a piece of an eraser and I sketch the eyebrows. Then I'm contouring her face. Like I told in the beginning, I'm not going to make some very harsh and contrast contouring because her face will have to match her unblushed body. So I'm going to use quite soft pinkish color going a bit deeper and darker like always on her eyelids and on the corners of her lips. So first I'm using light Indian red color pastels. Then I'm going a bit darker with the Caput Mortum color. And by the way, Caput Mortum is my favorite color for working on dolls, both pencils and pastels, because it's like an ideal, natural, very dark shadow. There is a bit of brown and red and mainly some purple in it. And do you know a story of this color? Because the name Caput Mortum literally means a dead head. Because some centuries ago, they used to make this pigment out of mummies. And it even had the second name, a mummy brown. Now they're of course making it out of some iron oxide or something. Otherwise, artists would already have wasted all mummies in the world, probably. But the intriguing name has stayed, and I really love both. And the name and the color of it. Then I take my pencils again and I start drawing her eyes. The big doll heads are made with some harder kind of plastic and the pencils work much easier on it than on rubberish Monster High dolls heads. So I can immediately draw the eyes more accented, for example I can already now apply shadows to the white of her eyes.
think I will give her grey eyes. It will look good in combination with her light hair and the natural skin color. For the first layer of her eyebrows, I use a combination of a light brown and a pink pencil. And then I repeat it all for the second eye. To her lips I apply a very light layer of bright pink pastels. Then I take brown pastels and I make darker the eyelids and the eye creases. Then with a very light nude pencil I draw the highlights around her eyes. And also let's make the irises more detailed. Now let's work on her mouth and I draw the highlights above her upper lip and then with a white pencil I block the smile. Then with grey pencils I sketch the teeth.
also going to add shadows and creases to her lips. I also still want to add some extra dimension to her face and for this I'm highlighting the places that reflect the most light. Then with the black pencil I draw the bottom eyelashes and add the eyeliner that should go right above the holes from the old lashes. And then I still add the highlights between the lashes and to the eyebrows. And in the end I still want to add a touch of extra blush to her cheeks. So now let's make her hair loose and see what we have. You know, I still think such a curly pink hair will look much better on her. So let's cut her hair very carefully because it's a good quality one and very long so I can for sure use it to reroot some Monster High dolls later. I think it will be enough even for a couple of dolls later. Now I want to cut the rest of her hair very short, so while my husband is at work, I'm taking his trimmer, 
and I buzz this Barbie doll head. And then I'm making a wig for her. So now we are almost done and I just need to attach the fuzz lashes right on top of the holes from the old lashes and then I'm adding a glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And now it's her outfit. And as I promised you in the beginning of this video, I went to a local store and I've purchased the smallest size t-shirt and such a super pretty tiny skirt. Of course, this doll has a completely different body proportions than a baby of 70 or even 56 cm big, so these clothes will be so or so a little bit too wide. But oversize is the main trend nowadays, so I think we can perfectly style it all and make it work. And she also has such a pretty nails, let's color them too! And here is my girl! I think she is just stunning! And in such a size she looks almost like a real person! I definitely like how it all worked today! And what about you? How do you find my first time experience with such a huge doll? 
please write what you think about it in the comments under this video. And by the way, it was really fun for me to be here in person in the beginning of this video. I think I should do it more often, what do you think, guys? And by the way, soon you will see me again because next week I'm 100% planning to record a Q&A video. Remember, I was asking you to ask me anything some weeks ago. So now I'm finally almost done with all my projects for June and next week I'm going on holidays for a week to the seaside, but don't worry, I have prepared everything, my new dollar paints will go online every Friday like it was scheduled. And then there on holidays I'm planning to sit pretty and relaxed in front of the camera and to answer everything you have asked me under that video. Or you can still ask your questions here under this video as well. And by the way, do you have any idea where I'm going to go? So, it was my video today. Please don't forget to put your likes and to subscribe my channel. Visit my Instagram, of course, for more pictures. And see you already very soon. Bye!